used to go to a professional and let a professional do their jobs. I'm seeing these videos back and I'm like, oh my god, my hair was literally like this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Patricia here, back with another video. If you're new to this channel, my name is Patricia. Therefore, make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you do like this video. Uh, I look a bit different, guys. Today's video, as you can see from the title, I'll be talking about my hair and how my hair is like this now and what I did to get here and how everything happened. So I've been... Um, I've been out for a couple of months. I wasn't recording anything because I just had something happen in my family. So I was just away. And now I'm like truly back. And as the whole thing was going on with my family and I, um, I was dyeing my hair through it. And obviously I wasn't much on social media. So loads of people have not seen how I went from black to now being like this. So people saw how my hair was a bit... Uh, I did have a first cut and that's how the only cut people were actually seen they didn't know how my hair was when it was longer because my hair was like down here and yeah I had to cut the whole thing but I'm gonna go through step by step with you guys I have videos because I, I did vlog the whole process of me dyeing my hair the first time the second it was a whole fruit salad guys like there's a lot so you guys will be very shocked if the conditions my hair were and nobody has actually seen none of this video so it's a bit crazy and insane how my hair actually was but i'm quite excited to show you share that with you guys if you hear somebody like making weird sounds it's my dog you know he's always around still the same no change 2021 but we, we haven't changed here but yeah guys so let me start by why did i dye my hair hey buddy so i basically dyed my hair because I wanted a change. It was during quarantine last year. And I really just wanted to... I've always wanted to be blonde. And I've, I've only been blonde once. And I wasn't really blonde. It was like... It was highlighted. So it, this was like back in... When I was 16, I think. So it was a long time ago. There we go. Sorry. Yeah, so it was a long, long time ago. So I kind of wanted to do it again. So I decided to dye it. And the first time I ever, when I highlighted, I did go to home. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so the first time I ever dyed my hair, well, highlighted a blonde, I did at the hair salon. So I didn't do it myself. And for the past years, everything I've done to my hair was me, like haircuts. Anything was always me, myself to myself. I've never, like, not even my mom helps me with anything. It's always me. And I always do these, like, haircuts. Everything I do to my hair, I do it myself. So, I wanted to dye and I was in the thing I want to dye, I want to dye, I'm going to dye it. Everyone was like, Patricia, don't do it. You're going to ruin your hair. Because obviously, I always dyed my hair black. So, my hair wasn't originally, my hair's brown, but I always dyed it like proper, like black. I really want, I love black hair. So, I just always dyed it black. So, my hair was always, always black. And... I wanted to change, you know, I wanted to have a change, I decided to bleach it. Yeah, I bleached my hair and the, there's a few, like, I'm going to explain to you guys what I did from the start to the end. And then I'm going to tell you guys what I wouldn't do it again and what would I do differently. Because what I did, please do not do what I did. I'm just literally showing you guys what I did and how I got to here. But there's better ways and there is easier ways and much healthier ways not to ruin your hair like I did. Like now my hair is just like getting back to normal. Like the curls are here, coming back bouncy and like they're not dry or anything. But it took me time to get to this stage. So I don't want you guys to then go and start following me what I did now because that's wrong like do not do that but anyway i'm gonna go through the first step and how i did everything and i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna like put some clips of everything like how it turned out how it was once i done it because i have every single step so i'm gonna go through that first and what i used and then after that i'll tell you guys what you what i would have done differently this time okay so i have notes so i didn't forget but okay so the first sorry the process was that i first bleached it uh and the hair went ginger and like here the roots were like really light and everything else was like ginger they had like different colors it was like a mixture they're like it was different colors 
different gingers some blonde some really light colors it was crazy like it was so cool but i still had some curls my hair wasn't totally damaged but there was like different colors the top was different and obviously i was ginger and i didn't want to be ginger so i went on and dyed again no uh yeah this time instead of like bleaching again i went and uh went and got this perfect oh before i do sorry guys so this is the bleach i use sorry it's a bit bitten i have a dog like you know this is the bleach i use and i use the liquid from this brand as well and yeah that is what i use is maximum blonde to dark from dark brown to blonde that's what they say so that's what i used and i got to the color you can see here so obviously i wasn't happy with it and i didn't want to be ginger so i decided to go ahead and change so then i decided to dye my hair i went to this professional um what do you call it? professional places where they sell stuff for hair like for like actual hairdressers and stuff like a shop that they sell stuff for professional hair salons yeah that's why i did it say so i went and got this well um uh dye and then i got a what is that thing called you'll see in the camera here because i do show what i use so i then used that and this was special blonde color 12 uh special blonde natural that's what the color was uh one uh 12 slash zero that is the color 12 yeah that's what I use special blonde that's the name of it but yeah so I did that and then my hair was still like on like once you, once I was dying it was really light like it was so so light and but then when I removed it it was kind of the same like it didn't do much for me I couldn't see much different and my hair was still the same colors everywhere it was extremely annoying I really didn't want to have it like that so I was just like oh my god I need to do something again so I was not patient I just wanted to have a good color and it was just not working I tried uh, um, purple shampoos so many things and nothing was working the color would just not change and it was so much like it was so ginger so I think within two or three weeks later I decided to bleach my hair again <laughs> what a crime right I bleached my hair again and this is how my hair was my note says uh it was definitely uh more blonde at the top there was no curls whatsoever left my hair was completely damaged it was disgusting super dry and at this point i couldn't even wear my hair up like i would only wear my hair down and um yeah i would just put like in a bun and i would not have my hair out at all there was no volume no curls nothing i was so disappointed but at the same time i could not be mad at myself because I wanted to be, I did this myself, I wanted to be blonde. So all I was doing is, I, I mean, I would just put my hair up. That's it, it was cool. It, it wasn't a problem. I wasn't going anywhere anyway. So the only people that were seeing me was me going to work. And the people I work with, nobody else was really seeing me. And whoever, whoever was seeing me, my hair was down. So it looked fine, you know. I think it looked fine. Then, um, yeah, like I said, I had no volume, uh, no curls and... A awful color like the color was just weird so I then said okay I bleached all this now I'm just gonna dye it again so I went and bought this dye I'm not sure which one it was I'll, sh I'll it'll be in the video so you guys will be able to see so I went and bought this dye I finished um, definitely finished damaging my hair <laughs> there was no curls left extremely dry uh, and it was oh guys you can I think the video speaks for itself because it was so it was so bad like oh my god i could not do anything to fix this hair like at this point uh my hair the ends like the ends there was some bits in the ends there was curls left but like here in the middle was like completely straight like I, it was like heat damage it was completely straightened it, oh oh i feel so, i'm seeing these videos back and i'm like oh my god my hair was literally like this it was so bad so around september i decided to cut my hair short so i cut it like down here and that was still not enough i had i needed to cut it again because the roofs were not as damaged and everything else here was quite damaged and the fact that 
I wasn't prepared. My hair was really long, so I did cut quite a lot. I didn't record that bit. I did, I had my camera on, on in front of me, but I didn't press uh, record. So I technically didn't record. I thought I was recording, but I didn't. So I didn't have that for to show you guys. But yeah, so I cut all my hair down today. I'll have a picture and how it looked after. And I kept it like that for the past three months. I then done some protective styles and that's kind of how I was styling my hair. I was happier with, I was getting used to the color and getting happier with the color as it was but i was not happy with the curls so i really wanted to hold on i wasn't happy with the curls at all so obviously i just kept doing treatments and just kept like every week i'll do some uh, protein treatment i'll do i'll use a hair mask i'll dip conditioner at least sometimes twice a week i was trying to take care of my hair to like recover the curls because i didn't want to give another cut until i was ready to have my curls to cut my hair pretty much so i wanted to like uh, treat my hair because i didn't want to get to the stage where i cut my hair and it still looks very damaged so for the next i knew i had to cut it though i, def, I definitely knew i had to do it i just didn't want to do it until i was sure the curls would be okay so then i plan to do at the end of the year to cut sorry pardon me so i planned uh to cut my hair uh, at the end of the year and i was like guys i'm just i told them i always like go and tell a few people what i want to do and everyone goes no patricia don't do it so I just but everyone goes no Patricia don't do it oh my god don't do that it's gonna be like your hair is like recovering slowly the ends will recover and I'm and I'm like no it won't like literally it won't recover so I was just like I have to cut my hair and that would be the only way uh to have my to, for my curls to be okay because i knew the top was okay i had volume at the top but the bottom was just not it was making my hair go down it was just it was just not doing anything so i then decided to i then decided to cut my hair and when i was telling people i was gonna cut my hair they were like oh don't do it but she said your hair is like starting to recover again don't 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 which was the same thing when i said i was going to bleach my hair in the beginning and everyone was like don't 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 do it but what, the more you tell me not to do the more i will literally do it so yeah hold on Yeah, so the more you tell me to not do something, that's what I'm going to do it because, you know, I just do what I want to do. And hair is hair. It will grow again. So, I mean, hair is just hair. Hair does not define your beauty or anything. So if you do take all your hair out, I'm pretty sure you still be beautiful. So it is what it is. You know, hair grows back, girl. But yeah, so I then it got to the 31st of December and I was like, I'm going to change. I want a new look in December. I want a new look in the new year. I definitely want my hair to be healthier and so on. So that is literally what I decided to then uh, do. Hold on. So it truly really got to the 31st of December. And I was just like, yeah, I'm going to cut my hair. I want it. I want to do it. I want a new look for um, 2021. So, yeah, I cut my hair literally and I was so happy with it. In the Like the first cut, it was still like, you could. I will have a picture here so you guys can see. The curls were still like not there. The curls were like, mm. and then I washed it again. And like, I, that's when I could see the curls bank, bounce back and everything. I had to have a different, um, a different routine and everything for this hair. But I'll get into that in, in another video. Now I just want to literally go through the hair. So now I have a couple questions that you guys kind of asked me. So I just want on Instagram. So I just wanted it to, you know, go through a little bit of the, of everything but hold on okay sorry guys wait <laughs> i'm drinking some water Whew. okay so people ask me if i would do anything differently i would one i have four points i would definitely do differently which is 
Ooh, wait, let me catch my breath. So, I have a couple questions that guys asked me. So one of them was, uh, what would I do differently? And what I would do differently is literally four things. See, I still can't catch my breath. Oh my god, but yeah, anyway. I would, uh, I would wait for my, the color I was dying black to fade it away before I decided to actually bleach my hair. Because if I did do that, then my hair would have actually caught the color much faster than I've only needed to bleach once. I'll probably not even bleach, I would have been able to just dye it with really light blonde and then slowly, slowly actually get to the color I wanted. Which obviously I didn't do that, so I went from, um dyed black hair and then tried to bleach and get to the blonde so that was awful mistake so definitely if you do dye your hair any other color especially black do not try or attempt to bleach your hair because you're just gonna get to some crazy color that you actually don't want and then it was just gonna be a struggle so i would advise you to wait for the color to fade away for you to then be able to you know actually bleach it so the second thing I'll do is I would not bleach my hair the whole thing I would like highlight sections and then like after a month or so I would highlight it again and that way my hair and the curls won't damage as much because it won't be like full bleach on it would just be some highlighted bit so the hair would automatically go blonde either way so the more you do it the more blonde it will get so that was the second bit I would do and if you can't do it by yourself uh the third thing yeah if you can't do it by yourself like um highlight by yourself you can ask somebody to help you and actually do it, watch some videos and i'm pretty sure somebody will actually be able to help you and you guys could do it together or actually just go to hair salon <laughs> number three i'll not bleach my hair within two three weeks uh yeah because i kind of did bleach and dyed within like a space of four or five weeks so i t definitely wouldn't do that I'll, you'd have to be patient and allow your hair to recover, allow your hair to sit and wait until you get the color. But I was stubborn, I didn't want to have the color I wanted. So that's I had I didn't want I didn't want to keep the color I had on. So that's why I just had to, you know, change and go through loads of things to try to get to the color I wanted. And that led me to damage my hair completely. So then I had to recover and learn how to actually recover my hair. But we get down in another video. I'm doing another video on that, guys. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, the fourth thing is... Uh... Yeah, that's that's what I just said. Yeah, so there's three things. Yeah, those two things. So if you if you, you don't know how to do it, definitely ask for help. If you... Um, just be patient with your hair. Let your hair breathe. Let your, get, your hair get to the color it needs to get. And you will get to the color you want eventually. Just be patient and just let it be, you know, girl. No rush. Another question is what I would recommend to people that want to go blonde from really dark, black, uh, from dark hair. So I will tell you to go to a professional and let a professional do their job because you ain't no hairstyles. You're gonna damage your hair and you don't want to do that. If you're not prepared for your hair to be damaged, don't do it because me, I knew things could go wrong. I knew. It could go right and it could go completely wrong and by the time the amount of times i actually dyed it at that point i just cared for the color i didn't care for the curls anymore so you need to know what you want and you need to be you need to understand that if something goes wrong you will have to cut your hair you have to be prepared to take the damage out because what's the point of having length and no curls no what's the point of having length if the cur the hair is damaged, like why do you want to have damaged hair in your head? Like it makes no sense to me. The length is nothing. The length does grow back, guys. So listen to that, you know? Listen to that. Another thing is ask for help. So if you need, I would definitely recommend you to ask for help. If you don't know what you're doing, definitely make sure you go and ask for some help because there's people out there that actually know what they're doing and they can actually explain to you. Even if you want to do it yourself, you don't want to spend money paying somebody else to do it. Or for me, in my opinion, why I do things myself is because if I do anything wrong, like if I went to the hair salon and they did what I did to myself, I would have been pissed. I would have been, I would have wanted to kill somebody. But because it was myself, I can't be mad at myself. It was my decision. I did this because I wanted to. So it was my decision. So I can't blame anybody. And that's that. So 
it is what it is and i'm not mad i'm not mad i can't be mad it was me i done it i decided to do it so that is why i do everything myself right and that is why so i can't can't be mad at myself you know and another thing i'll tell you guys to do i would recommend you guys to do is do your research know what products you need to use know what you actually have to do to get to the color you want understand what color you want and how you can achieve that color do your research what products are best for your type of hair don't just go and buy any dye because yeah this says my hair will be going to blonde and you'll go don't do that definitely make sure you do your research like me i did my research after i was in the process and that was just wrong i should have done that before i even went into the process but i didn't and so i ended up finding out this stuff myself in the wrong way so definitely recommend you guys this video is literally so you guys understand that you guys can actually do your research everything is out there so you guys you know if you want to watch this video by watching this video you definitely understand what you can and cannot do to dye your hair so definitely make sure you do your research and understand what colors and how you achieve how you can achieve the color you which you wishing for like me i didn't even know what kind of blonde i wanted i just wanted to dye my hair blonde i just wanted my hair to be blonde i didn't know what color i wanted so definitely make sure you understand what color you want and what you're trying to achieve with dyeing your hair make sure you understand um the colors and the products you need to use for your type of hair so that is literally so important guys definitely make sure you do your research because bleaching your hair can do a lot of damage and it definitely does people are telling me that i didn't ble i believed it i knew it did i honestly knew it did but i just wanted to do it anyway so uh another thing is you need to understand that if anything goes wrong you need to be a, you need to understand that you have to cut your hair you'd have to make um do adjustments so you need to be emotionally prepared for this kind of things cutting your hair is something that you actually have to be prepared for you need to know in your heart that your hair is gonna grow back hair is just hair even if it, your hair looks like shit you're gonna you're gonna it's gonna be okay you can fix it there's hairstyles you can do there's like braids you can do there's protective styles you can do to like make your hair look decent while inside there's a lot of damage so there's things we can actually do to make us look nicer because you know your hair does not define who you are so whatever your hair looks like nobody cares honestly you you're the only person that actually cares because nobody's looking at it so yeah uh so but yeah my point is if you do decide to dye your hair and something goes wrong and it ruins your hair it's like you have to be prepared to cut it you have to be prepared for be a big chop so it's like you know it's like if you know my hair if you know me from before you know my, i had the black long curls and i had to literally get to this now and i don't regret it i have i'm happy with my hair right now i actually really like the style I look different and i'm quite happy with it so i don't regret it i love the change but before i was just like patricia what have you done to yourself what have you done to yourself but i mean it's an experience hair is hair it'll grow back my roots are all here like my hair's like fully black right now like the roots is so black it's just because i cut it and it's literally just the ends that are blonde my hair is literally growing back so it's not it's not a big deal hair is hair and it grows like my hair grows so fast thank god i know lots of people their hair don't grow as fast but it's also what you actually do to your hair how you look after your hair and i've learned by myself or i've been doing my hair since i was 12 by myself so i have learned a lot with my hair and i know what my hair needs and when it needs and uh what to do with it and so that's how my hair kind of grows because i do know how to treat my hair so you need to understand your hair you need to know how uh you need yeah you need to understand your own hair so you can understand what products you need what you need to use for your hair to be able to like for your hair to grow so um, that's that but anyway uh another question was do do you regret it no i don't regret dying my hair at all i love it and it was a great experience guys i honestly learned so much so much by dying my hair i had I done so much research i learned so much about products that what my hair like i literally learned what my hair needs and when it needs it when like my hair needs protein when my hair needs moisture when my hair needs like anything I've, i was able to like understand and actually 
it's like my hair and I now have like a communication and it tells me look for sure shit I'm, I'm in need of this or like I'm in need of that and, and now we like have this connection you know so I kind of understand and that's how I was able to recover my curls now they're not fully recovered and the thing guys you need to understand that once you bleach your hair or dye your hair your curl pattern will never be the same your curl patterns are always changing and they will change as you go every wash and go i have a different type of curl and it happens so you need to be you need to understand that that will happen and your curls will definitely change so but that's okay that is okay you know we live and we move <laughs> uh would you the next question is would you do it again yes i'll definitely do it again i'll definitely follow my own advice and i will do it properly this time i wouldn't go deep into bleaching and doing all the stuff crazy things i actually did i'll definitely follow my own advice and i'll do it better uh most of the questions people were asking me on instagram was like would you uh what did you do to recover your curls how are you like recovering your curls and everything and uh I'm not gonna really tell you guys this because I'm doing another video on how to like recover your curls from um, damage or heat damage or any kind of damage, what products you should be using, what you should be looking into it. So I'll definitely have that video out soon. So definitely stay tuned for that. But this is it for today's video. I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I did for my hair and what, how I achieved this color. And yeah, where we at right now with my hair. So that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys didn't have a heart attack by watching the videos because I know they're like insane. Those videos are super crazy. When I watched them back a couple of weeks ago, I was like, whoo, boy, my hair was actually looking like that. But yeah, it was crazy. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you definitely like this video, definitely make sure you give me a thumbs up. I am recovering my hair, so hopefully my curls will be long very soon. But I quite like the length, I'm not gonna lie. I won't be cutting it. I won't be keep cutting it. I don't think I might just let it grow out. But I do like this look on me quite a lot. But yeah, I don't know. I I don't know what I'm going to. Do. You know, guys, I'm always changing and I'm always doing different things with my hair now. So we'll see where we I'll go from now from this. But anyway, you guys will be seeing on my channel a lot. So I'll be here quite often and I'll let you guys know. If you like this video, definitely make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you haven't followed me, subscribe to me, yeah? Definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel and you hit that bell notifi notification. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a video. And also definitely make sure you follow me on my socials. I'm always active on Instagram and you can keep in touch and have a closer look on my day to day. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.